Mm -hmm. Right. Well, now that we've got the MongoDB cookbook uploaded onto our Chef server, we can now use it uh, in your Vagrant instance. Okay. So we need to add it to the run list. We're going to do it a slightly different way this time. Instead of going back to your browser and clicking around, let's use Knife to edit the run list for your node. So one of the things uh, that we can do is uh, execute this. Knife space node space edit and then the name of your node. So that would be Patrick underscore VM. Yep, that's mm -hmm. it. Wow, okay. Oh, excellent. I was hoping we would get this error. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you will, uh, it, it just says there that you don't have an editor environment variable assigned. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you just do uh, something like export editor equals vim and then try that again, we should be good. Okay. Okay, in the homework, I will install vim <laughs> on, on the node, <laughs> but that's another story. Oh, well, we may, may or may not need it on the node, but we can, uh, we can figure that out. So here, okay. what's happened, right, is you've just done a knife node edit uh, for Patrick VM, and you can see that this has opened up a JSON file for us, and this JSON file is Chef's representation of the node. Um, so you see things like the Chef environment that it's in, um, the keys, SSH, a number of uh, pretty interesting things. If you go all the way down to the bottom, though, there, you see the run list. And there you see the recipe that we added previously, the Omnibus Updater. Oh, okay. Now, this run list is an array, so we're just going to add a new item to this run list. And we'll follow the same format, right? It's going to be recipe MongoDB. Yep, and then once you uh, write and close this, you'll see there that it's saving the updated run list on node Patrick VM. So we don't need to do this right now, but if you were to go back to the browser and inspect your node in Manage Chef mm -hmm. or in Hosted Chef, you would again see, or you would see that now the run list includes both the Omnibus Updater and MongoDB. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and run Vagrant Provision, and this will install MongoDB for us. So again, this will download the cookbook from the community site for you. And then it will execute the default recipe. When we don't specify a recipe name, just the cookbook name, Chef knows to execute the default recipe. And of course, as we saw when we tried to upload the MongoDB cookbook, it depends on the apt cookbook. So you saw that it was being downloaded there as well. Mm -hmm. And you can see here that it is processing package MongoDB install. Uh, so package is another resource type within Chef. And mm -hmm. this is installing the MongoDB package on your system. OK. OK. And here's the run list we had edited earlier. It's the first thing which is loaded when Chef boots up in the provisioning. Right. It will, it will ask. Uh, so that your node, when Chef Client runs, the node will authenticate with Chef Server, and then it will ask Chef Server, what is my run list? And that run list will be sent down from the Chef Server, and then the node will then subsequently download any cookbooks that it needs from the Chef Server, and then execute those recipes. Okay. Okay, now here something happens. Well, a lot of things happened. Yes, a lot of things happened. Um, one thing that's interesting, though, if, if you look at the end there, it says that uh, the chef run was complete and the report handlers uh, were run and completed. Now, um, let's not dig into the, some of this output here. Let's just go ahead and verify uh, or check and see if MongoDB was, in fact, installed mm -hmm. on your Vagrant instance. So we'll do a Vagrant SSH, and then let's see if Mongo is running. OK. You should just be able to log in. Wow, yeah, yeah it's, it's there. Right. Look at Great. that. Yeah. Excellent. So we've now used Chef to update uh, 
our Chef client or our Chef install on the Vagrant instance mm -hmm. and to install MongoDB. 